How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. Today's video goes hand in hand with the one that I made yesterday and if you haven't watched that video yet I'll post a link in the description below and also I'll put a thumbnail at the end of this video and you guys can click on it and watch it if you haven't done so yet. Today's video is about how the ATF is taking down retail gun sellers one FFL at a time. The ATF isn't regulating the firearms industry as required by the statute. The ATF is choking the life out of it, tearing it down one gun dealer at a time. Before Joe Biden declared war on gun dealers, ATF inspectors used a 5% rule. If less than 5% of the gun dealer's paperwork contained errors, the ATF would take minor corrective action, usually a warning letter or a warning conference. If more than 5% of the transactions contain errors, sanctions could be more severe. But after Biden weaponized the agency, anything goes. Even a minor clerical error is now viewed as a willful violation of ATF rules. And the dealer's FFL is in jeopardy. Today, the ATF is clearly on the prowl. The more FFL revocations they can gin up, the better. The more dealers they can intimidate into surrendering their FFL, the happier the White House will be. After all, Biden has ranted publicly about rogue gun dealers. And now it's time for the ATF to deliver revoked licenses by any means necessary. ATF knows that high volume gun dealers can afford to fight a revocation. They have compliance officers, attorneys, and money. But to them, an FFL is an FFL. So the ATF is targeting home base dealers. They're easier to take down and they typically don't have an extra 50 to $100,000 to defend their FFL from revocation. And the ATF knows this too and they are abusing the hell out of it. Lately, the ATF doesn't even bother to start a formal revocation process for home-based dealers. Instead, they cook up some violations and then threaten to bully the dealer, hopefully to scare them into voluntarily surrendering their FFL. The abusive tactic worked with a home-based dealer in Oklahoma after the ATF hit his home with a SWAT team, but backfired when tried on a savvy Texas gun dealer. ATF is also employing new tactics, which violate their own policies. Before Biden took office, the ATF didn't use gun shop inspections to further a criminal investigation. Now that's all changed. ATF inspectors are now teaming up with criminal investigators, special agents. This unholy alliance creates yet another mechanism to ensure the unlucky dealer that's been targeted for revocation based on some agent's whim. One thing that's become abundantly clear, ATF's recent revocation spree has resulted in a pattern and practice of civil rights violations. And those are important words. They're the bedrock of civil rights litigation, civil or criminal. Today's rogue ATF agents may believe they're immune from internal sanctions because they're only following orders, but they still can be criminally prosecuted or found liable for violating someone's civil rights. And to be clear, they're violating someone's civil rights on a regular basis. It shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who's familiar with ATF's history that one of their core missions has been shelved because they're preoccupied with revoking licenses for the big guy. The ATF is doing nothing to keep guns out of the hands of lawbreakers because they're too busy turning law-abiding Americans into criminals. Shaking down honest, hardworking gun dealers does nothing to deter or prevent crime. It's nothing but an obvious attempt to curry favor with the ATF brass and the resident of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And we all know it's morally wrong. As you can see, Joe Biden's ATF will stop at nothing to revoke FFLs. And this pattern from the rogue ATF needs to be shut down immediately. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comments section down below. And I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys continuously like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And it helps the channel out and it definitely helps it grow. And I invite everybody back to see my next video.